so you're not going to run off on me? This is Sydney. In case you haven't noticed, she wears a mask. Well, from what I can see, your eyes are quite nice. This is Phil. He's a bit awkward, but he's always wanted a woman of mystery. And this is their waiter. He's really into Phil. You do have some nice eyes. Coming this fall, we meet the girl behind the mask. And this awkward dude. I have to admit, I'm a little curious. Why would you wear a mask to dinner? It's my way of getting rid of the losers, you know? I just really want to find a guy who likes what I really like and doesn't let my looks get in the way. Tell me about it. A movie that shows finding love can be awkward, especially with Phil. Well, good luck with that, champ. See? It's already working. You called me champ. I'm basically your boyfriend. MG Squared presents Looks Get in the Way, coming in fall 2015. Be there or be squared. The flowers are very nice. I'm pretty sure you hate them. I, I saw the way you looked at them. I'm Phil, and I'm early. Uh, I'm glad you're early too. Well, sort of. I was hoping to get to beat you and uh, get used to the room. I get nervous in new places. I brought you flowers. They're lovely. So what's with the mask? Does it scare you? Not, not really. It's just a bit weird. Hmm, so you're not gonna run off on me? I have to admit, I'm a little curious. Why, why would you wear a mask to dinner? It's my way of getting rid of the losers, you know? I just really want to find a guy who likes what I really like and doesn't let my looks get in the way. Tell me about it. You're not ugly. I'm not? Take off your glasses again? You have very nice eyes. Really? You do too. But you can barely see my eyes through this mask. From what I can see, your eyes are quite nice. Stop that. No physical stuff now. But you said my eyes, and well, your eyes are, well, pretty. No. But... Stop it! Can't I... Nah, fam. Okay. Are you hungry? You do have some nice eyes. Well. The flowers are very nice. I'm pretty sure you hate them. I, I saw the way you looked at them. I'm sorry. Well, for one, they're dead. And secondly, and more importantly, bring me something I can eat. Flowers are okay, I guess, but I can't eat them. Chocolate was the obvious choice. You're right. My B. Yo. What are you doing? Well, from your flower lecture, it's obvious that the nice guy act isn't going to please you. So, the gangster look is my backup plan. Well, good luck with that, champ. See? It's already working. You called me champ. I'm basically your boyfriend. 
Yeah, no. I call it all guys too. Oh. Yeah? So, uh, what else happens on these dates? I mean, you seem to have it all planned out with the mask and all. Is it? It's like a test or something. There was this one episode of Star Trek. I like Star Trek. Really? Live long and prosper. So, this is one of those Trekkie tests? What's next? Dinner? Hmm. Challenge accepted, I suppose. You're doing pretty well so far. What do you have? It's a secret. Why can't you just tell me? Well, my choice is very unusual. If that makes any sense. I didn't see anything too unusual on the menu. My usual isn't on the menu. Oh. That can either be a good thing or a bad thing, I guess. Don't worry, it hasn't killed anyone. Yet. Would you my funeral if it does? Of course. I'd even make a speech and talk about how brave you were for trying my unusual usual food. Wow, that's deep. Just be sure to keep our waiter away from my funeral, please. Oh, and wear the mask as well. I'm sure my family and friends will love it. I love my usual. I'll have what she's having. Uh, I think our waiter wishes he were on this date instead of me. Yeah, it's, it certainly seems that way, doesn't it? Well, who could blame him? You seem like you could have a little romantic side to you. Oh, really? Well, I mean, you brought me flowers, which is romantic even though they're dead. And we have this whole restaurant to ourselves other than our third wheeling waiter, which makes it look like you rented out the place just for the date. It's kind of cute. Wow! So my plan worked out after all. Minus the creepy waiter part, I had nothing to do with that, I swear. Yeah, yeah, sure. But anyway, back to my usual food. You don't even know what it is. Yeah, well, you seem to know what you're doing with the mask, so I guess I can trust your choice of food. You should. If by some chance I survive this date, maybe I should wear a mask too. I get so nervous. You're doing pretty well so far. Must be the mask. It's helping me for some reason. I guess it lightens the mood in an odd sort of way. But it also makes me curious as to what's the s secret of the girl behind the mask? Oh, there is no secret. I already told you before. I don't want my looks to get in the way. I want to be liked for who I am and not just because of how I look. No, you don't have to explain again. I get it. And I'm fine with that. It's just a little different than what I'm used to. But different is perfect. I would smile at you, but my mask is covering me. So just imagine me smiling. I, I am. And you have a lovely smile. A hot dog? A hot dog. I actually love hot dogs. Yeah, they're pretty unusual. You don't really know what's in the meat. Yep. Yep. Wanna see me without my mask? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, I guess. Oh, this is a test too, isn't it? Oh man. Don't be nervous. I'm not this scary looking for real. Okay. I'm kind of ugly, but nothing like this. Ugly? Don't worry, I don't have a huge nose or weird teeth or a huge mole on my face. I'm just not very good looking. I don't mind. I'm no William Shatner. Are you sure? I think our waiter seems to think otherwise. I'm sure I'm not William Shatner. And let's not bring that up anymore. I'd rather pretend like nothing happened. Okay, fine. It's already gone. But anyways, are you sure about the mask? I'm sure. I already know you have beautiful eyes. Stop that. Jeez, I still can't compliment you? No! You don't have to take off the mask. It, it's okay. I want to. You're really nice. And you deserve to see my real face. You've passed the test. You're beautiful. No. You are. Really. Stop. 
Why? You don't have anything to hide. You want another hot dog? Sure. But it's gonna have to be quick. My mom is waiting for me. Well, that's quite unfortunate. No. I don't need a mask. Ha <laughs> ha! 